Elon Musk is approved for creation of Tesla subway system in Las Vegas. The Boring Company will create a 29-mile loop with 51 stations around Nevada City in Las Vegas. With the 29-mile system, it will complete will have 700 Teslas driving through its tunnels at the same time, and it will be able to move around 57,000 people per hour through 51 stations. This is again Armin Harayan. Welcome back, friends. The boring company of Elon Musk received approval to create a system of transport um, a, uh, to large amount, uh, to large scale transport underground um, of Tesla in Las Vegas. Authorities unanimously approved the businessman's Vegas loop, which will connect the famous Las Vegas Strip, the Las Vegas uh, Riders Stadium, and the University of Nevada campus in Las Vegas. The billionaire's boring company has already built a smaller 1.7 million mile version of the loop system at the city's Las Vegas Convention Center. We have reported on that several times. Here's a quote I want to present you. A year from now, I hope we are under construction with parts of the main system and then we can continue to expand from there. Steve Hill, CEO and President of Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Bureau, told Fox 5. Friends, when the 29-mile system is complete, it will have 700 Tesla vehicles driving through its tunnels at the same time, and it will be able to move around 57,000 people per hour through 51 stations. Now, I'll tell you how much the tickets will cost. Passengers will be charged between $5 to $20 per trip, depending on how far they travel, which authorities say will be more than another mode of public transportation, but less than transportation companies. Loop commuters in Las Vegas can ride in cars with human drivers, but the loop system has no traffic lights or stop signs inside. The loop will not need any taxpayer financing as the boring company will pay for construction and give the county a quarterly rate based on how much money it makes from fees. The planned circuits in Los Angeles and Chicago have never progressed, but the company announced plans for systems in Florida in July and in Texas in August. We recently saw equipment moving to this area, especially in Texas. The Boring Company says its tunnels are a practical approach to urban transit. To solve the problem of uh, soul-destroying traffic, roads must be 3D, which means flying cars or tunnels are needed. Unlike flying cars, tunnels are weather resistant, out of sight, and will not um, fall on your head, states the company's website. The tunnels minimize the use of valuable surface land and do not conflict with existing transportation system. A large network of tunnels can alleviate uh, congestion in any city, no matter how big a city grows, more levels of tunnels can be added. I just don't know why in the United States we don't have many uh, subways, like in European countries we call them metros, but subways is something similar and subways have proven to be a very interesting way of transportation. And now imagine a subway where you can drive a Tesla or be moved around by Tesla. I think this is going to be very interesting. There is big news coming from Tesla Giga Berlin that may further delay the final approval. Brandenburg repeats online discussion of criticism of Tesla factory. Again, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. The online discussions of more than 800 objections to the construction of the U.S. electric car manufacturer Tesla's Giga factory in Grünheide on Oder Spree is repeated again. The state office for the environment decided that for reasons of legal certainty, I reported last week that there may be new developments. And here, here we come, friends. Brandenburg repeats the questioning of critics of the Tesla Giga Berlin factory in Grünheide, the Ministry of the Environment said on Thursday that the State Office for the Environment decided this for reasons of legal certainty. The new procedure should therefore take place in the period from November 2 
and November 22nd. Unless they approve in eight days, forget about November approval of Tesla Giga Berlin. In doing so, the state responding is actually responding to criticism from the environmental associations Naturschutzbund, NABU, Green League Brandenburg, Bund für Naturschutz, and uh, Umwelt, Bund. Forgive my German, please. I don't speak German. As well as the Friends of Nature in Brandenburg. So these are the organizations. They accuse the environmental agency uh, uh, agency the period between notice and the beginning of the online consultations at least one week to have failed the com to comply. That they didn't comply with the right deadline. They refer to a procedure for water rights for the Humbach open cast mine for which a consultation was restarted because it had been announced two days in advance only after the end of the consultation on Tesla uh, on the, Tesla can all uh, on Tesla can all objections be examined and answered which is the prerequisite for a final building permit the ministry announced that the example of the environmental associations is based on a large opinion that deviates from uh, the previous interpretation because it is unclear how the administrative courts in Brandenburg will decide in the event of a lawsuit the procedure will be repeated the new discussion is to start on November 2nd what is it today is November October 22nd in 10 days so uh, the announcement is scheduled for October 25th, said Potsdam. The comments from the latest discussion should therefore still be examined. If this goes on, friends, you know, uh, forget about November Giga Berlin approval. And um, we should wait maybe in December for the best scenario. Tesla expects approval for the end of 2021. Tesla wants to start production in its car factory this year, if possible. As the company said, the goal is to be able to build the first series cars model Y before the end of the year. The construction of the Giga factory is proceeding as planned. Uh, batteries are also to be manufactured in Grünheide, as I've reported many times. However, there is no final approval for the state of Brandenburg for the Giga Berlin settlement. Tesla is currently building on, on the basis of early approval. Uh, we expect to receive the final approval before the end of this year. Uh, it said on Wednesday, the Ministry of the Environment, however, stated that a timetable for the decision on the Giga Berlin's permit could not be given. First of all, the new online discussion must also be evaluated. And here we go with this evaluation. Tesla's Giga Berlin factory building, friends, has attracted many critics and many supporters. Um, uh, among other things, uh, officials uh, are feared, uh, fears scarce uh, drinking water and negative consequences for the environment. Since Tesla had expanded the original plans to include the battery factory, the construction plans were redesigned for the public in the summer. According to the Brandenburg Ministry of the Environment, 395 objections were received by mid-October, so that a total of 809 people and organizations raised concerns in the approval process of Tesla Giga Berlin. So let me know what you think about uh, Giga Berlin's final approval. When do you think the approval will come? I don't know, friends. We'll wait and see.